Happy Friday, Nina. And the answer to that question is, it depends how close you are to one of the Great Lakes. We've got 50 in Milwaukee, but it's 64 in Madison. It's 70 in Hayward, but it's 45 degrees in Superior. So we are going to be dealing with cooler by the lake and bay conditions once again tomorrow. Generally, though, very nice conditions throughout the day. Lots of sunshine. Temperatures inland will mainly be in the mid 60s with easterly winds at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. So not as strong as what we had throughout the day today. Lots of clouds this afternoon and now this evening mixing with pockets of sunshine. Quiet weather as we head deeper into the evening. The winds will start to diminish as temperatures fall through the 50s and then into the 40s. Nina. Thank you. It will be a beautiful weekend for the season opener of Bay Beach Amusement Park. Due to a lack of staff, however, the park will have shorter hours than usual. NBC 26's Noel Friel spoke with park management about the ongoing need for workers and how the park is addressing the shortage. As Bay Beach Amusement Park prepares to open for another season, Alyssa Smet is about to begin her sixth season with the park. You get to know people really well because you end up working with a lot of the same people every day. But this year at Bay Beach, where everything is ready to go, the rides, the concessions, the one thing missing is the staff. We have a sign-on bonus. We're, we're paying $2 more per hour than we were last year, plus an extra dollar an hour bonus on weekends. The park has tried to get creative to mitigate the staffing shortage, even partnering with local businesses like Marcus Theaters and Delaware North to provide more incentives. We also are working with Delaware North, where if they work for them during the off season for us and during the Packer season, then they actually get a sign-on bonus there as well. The main position the park is in need of are the ride operators. Without enough operators, to ensure the safety of the visitors, the park had to shorten its hours for the season. This year, the park will close at 7 p.m., two hours earlier than normal. You have to be 18 to run the rides. We need someone that is very safety conscious and, and, and really great with families in general. Smet used to work as a ride operator and says it's the ideal summer job. Each day you are on a different ride, so you kind of get to have a little variety in the park. Um, we've got everything from the little kitty rides to this big roller coaster. Smet encourages others to apply and says the best part of the job is the camaraderie between the employees. It's just kind of a team effort, even though sometimes you are on an individual ride. In Green Bay, Noelle Friel, NBC 26. Noelle, thank you. In economic news tonight, the job market continues to be strong. The U.S. added 428,000 new jobs in April. The new report is a robust showing, despite high inflation and the recent federal interest rate hike. The unemployment rate came in at 3.6%. Right now in Sheboygan, police are looking for a person wanted in a shooting near the downtown bus transfer station. One person was shot. No word yet on the extent of their injuries. One neighbor we spoke with said the area has 